Um, today I want to just uh, remind you or encourage you or show you something why you should be thankful to God. I am thankful to God for the life he gave me, for the grace, for his mercy, for his kindness. But above all, I am graceful to God because of something he did. Look at Genesis chapter 1 beginning from verse 26 then god said let us make men in our own image and likeness let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and the birds of the earth and over the livestock over everything that move upon the face of the earth so god created man in his own image in the image of god he created male and female God created them. Hallelujah. God created you and me, man and woman in his image. So it's not like what the bank theory said, out of the bank come this beautiful creation. It's not true because you have seen a lot of uh, bang from bombs and missiles and weapons. It never bring anything good. It never bring anything good. It always lead to death, to destruction. You see that? But the Bible says that God created everything. So he made man as the last creation. Oh, we are special creation. Look at what God says to man. Verse 28. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply in number and fill the earth and rule it over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the earth and over every living creature that move upon the face of the earth. Then God said, I give you every seed-bearing plant in the face of the whole earth. Wow. Every tree that has with its seed in it, there will be yours for food. And to all the beasts, all the animals of the earth, and the birds of the earth, and all creatures that move on the face of the earth, everything that has bread, I give every green plant for you for food. And God saw that all that he has made, was very good and there was evening and there was morning the sixth day hallelujah look at this now this is how do you know that you are special this is how we know that we are special in every place before you go to live in a place you first of all build the house build the place prepare the place Every nation, every country, every city, before people move there, there ought to be a preparation to put a shelter for them before they move in. No one just moved to the bush and stayed there where he really wants to stay for a long time. You see, God created everything the first day to the sixth day, he created everything. And the last creation was man and woman, male and female. You see that? And God blessed them and said, multiply and fill the earth. And God said, you are the reason why I create everything. 
He didn't say that by his word. But what he said to them, he said, Every plant on the face of the earth, every beast of the field, of the earth, I give to you for food. That means that I have created everything for you, my son and daughter. We are the prince and princesses of the Most High. Hallelujah. You are loved. You are special. God made this wealth for you. He made it as a place for us to enjoy and dwell and experience His greatness and kindness and awesomeness and mightiness. Glory to God. Thanks be to God that He made us. Thanks be to God that He has made this wealth for us. Thanks be to God that He created this for us. We are the sons and daughters of the King who is powerful, who is wealthy, who is rich. Our God is great. He created everything just for you. You know how special you are. He created this world for us. Though there is a mess from the one who jealous us, but God made it for us to enjoy, to dwell. He says, multiply, fill the earth, rule over it. And he said, rule over the animals, not your fellow human beings. Dominate. Oh, wow. I wish you could understand this, that you are the reason why God made these things. You are the reason why God created this whole universe, this whole creation. He created it for us. We are loved. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And not only did he create all these for us, he gave us his very essence of life, his breath. He breathed into us and man become a living being. Oh, what a precious God. You are wonderful, Lord. You are wonderful, Father. We are wonderfully and specially made. We are the last of God's creation, but the last is the first in his mind. <laughs> you see that the Bible says that the first shall be the last and the last shall be the first. He created everything first, but man who was created last became first in his agenda because it was because of man that God made the world. Do you know how God looks at you? Do you know the value that you were to God? You add value to him as his son, Jesus. If God could send Jesus to come for your sake, to come, to live, to die, to save you, you are special in the mind of God. You are special to God. I want you to convict yourself with that reality that I am special to God. God loves me. He loves us. He loves us. Oh, He loves us. But I know sometimes the challenge in this world messes us up, make us feel sad and, and anger and all those emotions. But God loves us. He did everything he could for us. Even when the world is in mercy, he still fixes it. He still sent his son for our sake. And he said the only thing you need to do is just believe that I am who I say I am. Just believe that I can save you. 
from this mess that has crept into my creation. Just believe that I can redeem you. I can save you because I loved you, because I made you in my own image and likeness. I want you to be where I am because you are the only creation that carry my image in the face of the earth. Oh, God loves us. God loves us. Brothers and sisters, if we understand the magnitude of God's kindness, you will worship. You will say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for loving me so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Even if you drink only water, you will say thank you. He loved you. And this is what he wanted me to tell you today. That you are specially and wonderfully made. He made the world for you. You can be who he says you to be. You can be what he said you are. No one can limit you. No one can stop you. Because the Father has you in mind to bless you. Has you in mind to help you. Has you in mind to deliver you. Has you in mind to heal you. Because he cares for you. Because he knows how you were framed. He knows how you were made. You are his image. The Father loves you. Hallelujah. And so we thank you, Heavenly Father, for today, for this year, for everything you've done. We are grateful for good health, for protection, for your kindness, for your love, for your forgiveness. We thank you a million times. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Father, that you love us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. God bless you. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. You are watching GSM TV.